Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CS Mentor. As you know, today tools like Bard AI and ChatGDP are available for a variety of purposes, such as, for example, creating stories, summarizing documents, etc. However, these tools also pose some ethics concern about their use and their potential applications. To the point that people like Elon Musk and others have suggested to stop the training of these large-scale language models because they could even pose a threat to humanity. Of course, one of the potential applications of these tools is to write scientific papers. And one of our publishers, Elsevier, said that ChatGTP can provide text that is indistinguishable from the text written by a human. As a result, many societies and publishers, such as, for example, ACM, IEEE, and Elsevier, are publishing guidelines in order to define how we are allowed to use these tools to write scientific papers. And this is what we are going to discuss in this video. I'm going to provide the most updated guidelines and also hopefully stimulate a discussion in the community about what are the correct boundaries to use these tools moving forward. Before we start, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that this content could be available to more students. So I'm going to discuss here the first official rules that have been published by Elsevier and very similar rules are now under discussion at ACM and most likely also at IEEE. So the first rule that Elsevier provides is that we can only use these technologies to improve readability and language, not to replace key research tasks such as interpreting data or drawing scientific conclusions. So basically what they're saying is that we cannot use these tools to generate science. They can assist us in the writing process, but purely from a writing perspective and not from an intellectual perspective of generating concepts, generating ideas, and even worse, analyzing data. The second rule states that we need to apply this technology always with human oversight and control. And whatever is given as an output by this model needs to be checked by a human because we know that AI assisted tools can generate text that sounds authoritative. Also, it can be incorrect, it could be incomplete, and it could also be biased. The next rule states that we cannot list one of these AI assisted models as an author or co-author of a paper which is understandable since, of course, being an author implies some responsibilities and tasks that can only be attributed to and performed by humans. Additionally, we are now required to disclose in the manuscript if we have used AI-assisted technology in the writing process. Of course, this is not completely clear where this disclosure should happen and then what reviewers and editors should do with this information. This is due to the fact that this technology is particularly new and so still we don't have common practices on how to evaluate papers which have used these tools. But of course here the idea is that authors are ultimately responsible and accountable for the content of the work and so we cannot just get whatever is given by these machine learning models and put it in a paper and be done. We always need to supervise, edit and review. Of course, this rules are not saying that we cannot use tools such as spell checkers or tools that help with grammar in the writing process. So those tools can be considered exceptions to these rules and they don't need to be disclosed. ACM is also adding an additional rule saying that if we fail to disclose that we have used these AI assisted tools in the paper, this will be treated as plagiarism, which is definitely something that you don't want to happen to your paper and you don't want to happen to your career since you know could have serious consequences so i hope that the description of these rules was informative please when you write a paper make sure to check the most updated rules since these are the rules as of the publishing time of this video but they may change in the future since things are evolving pretty rapidly i hope you find the content useful please like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye